Welcome back to The Reality Guys. I'm your host, Brian, and today I'm talking Alone, Season 11, Episode 7, One Pike at a Time. All right, so we're on Day 23, uh, five people remaining, but at the end of the last episode, Episode 6, we saw that Isaiah was having some, he was having problems like breathing and things like that, so we kind of just go right into this, like, from last episode, and I'm not, I usually am going to go uh, person by person, talk about the person eliminated, but uh, I'm going to talk, as I, Isaiah leaves, um, he said it was not worth it, um, than what he's going through, um, and like risking it for his family. Like, I know he, he wants to try to have another baby, but he says like, he needs to be there for his family. All incredibly valid reasons. Uh, I don't think staying there for potentially not maybe getting fourth place or third is not worth it. Even second. So he leaves. Um, he, it was really just two minutes in and he's out. So we're down to four people. And now I will run through the rest of the uh, contestants and they're pretty much how their episode went. So Timber, uh, Timber is feeling better. Um, he is finally moving into a shelter. He, uh, he says, like, he's surprised how long that it took him to get in there. But remember, he was smoking moose in his shelter. So uh, he actually does see two more, uh, two, three more moose. He sees a moose and two calves. And um, he's worried about brain fog. Um, it's funny because my wife, um, when she was pregnant and post, she was worried about brain fog too. We were having issues with brain fog. So I kind of like kind of understood what he was going through here and like what he was saying um he and one of the reasons they come to this is he like cuts his thumbnail while he's like sawing something so he like the nail like falls off his thumb and he's worried about infection so he puts um some spruce sap on it and like covers it and then actually like heats it in the fire so it gets like a hard shell to keep the infection out um he also has had wolves keeping up him up at night they've been howling a lot um another thing he does is he pees on a stick to kind of mark his territory it's like bang so they have like a little blurb pop up where it's like oh um sticks that are like this they can hold the scent long or something like that so he just basically made a scent post you're thatching maybe i wrote thatching shelter um he 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 wants it to be a home so he's like putting things on the outside to like keep the, the insulated a little more um but he he stresses like i want this to be a home not a shelter he puts the moose horns up on top of it they do like a little edited video of him like basically talking to himself, starring himself, showing um, hey, this is my home. So Timber, I thought like pretty decent episode. Um, next we go into William. Um, he finds a bottle. Um, he's gonna use this as a piss pot so he doesn't have to go outside in the cold air to pee in the middle of the night. And we know like each passing day it's gonna get colder and colder because snow is coming. Um, he is building um some hooks to catch some pike um he does catch one and he does get a rabbit in one of his snares so he does have rabbit for some food and then at the end of the episode um we see a pine martin kind of getting he has like his food cache like on a long stick and it like hangs over like a cliff to like a river it looks like i think that's what it looks I think that's what it is and it, it shows at the end of the episode like a pine martin i guess like he had like a um like a tripod set up to like watch his cache and pine martin climbs up through the stick gets his food so we'll have to see how that impacts him in episode eight maybe he this could impact him pretty negatively and maybe he is the third one out so we got to keep that in mind um dub dub uh gets a pike as well in his gill net and this one's 44 inches so that's really big um that's a pretty big one does not drop it in the river this time he takes precaution after in the previous episode where he had a caught a fish started to show it to the camera and he got away um, he sees a moose, but he's annoyed because it is getting too dark and he doesn't know if he can track it. And like if he took a shot, he he could run away and then he's gotta actually like physically find out where it went. And that's just that sounds like a lot of work and he he doesn't risk it. Um he tries looking for the moose in the morning, he doesn't find it. Um, but it may come back. I mean, that's kind of the same thing that happened to Timber, like Timber saw it, missed the shot, and then another one came back. It could have been the same one, we're not hundred percent sure, but he does get it that he did get it eventually. Um, he did find his arrow that he shot, I think, for a grouse. Um, oh, so, okay, this is all in the same episode. I thought it was last last week. But he shoots at a grouse. I guess the arrow, like, kind of hits it, but doesn't go, like, stay in the grouse. He goes into the lake. Um, he gets the grouse, obviously, makes the food. And then he went later, he goes and finds the arrow. I guess, like, build, like, a lasso, to, like, lasso it in from the, the water. It's, like, kind of sticking straight up, so he does eventually get it. So that's good. And then the last thing for him, he sees wolves and like, um, on the other side of his river so that's something to keep an eye on i think he sees like three or four and um they actually at one point well, before they the end of the episode they're like running into their side of the 
bar. So we'll see. They probably got something, but two people so far keeping up with with wolves and having to deal with them. So we'll see if that impacts them. That is the thumbnail or the picture of the season. So I wonder if that does come into effect later. And then we saw Sarah. Sarah was kind of brief. Um, she was making flour. Um, I think like the flour she made here though had some like like unchewable clumps in it at times. So she said she's gonna try to um, alter the recipe and figure out what it is and not have that in there next time. Uh, she's been dreaming of Chinese food, uh, thinking about the sodium. So again, I, Sarah was on my watch list for a couple episodes now. So that's something to keep in mind. I think it's really going to be Sarah or William, probably the next one out. Uh, and then she's setting up traps to catch that beaver because she keeps like seeing the beaver. The beaver, if they say, show on the bottom, it could be 60 pounds, could be some good food and maybe could push her maybe in the top two or three, maybe even win. So yeah, pretty good episode. Um Getting, I was, I was wondering if there was going to be another elimination at the end because like they got rid of um, Isaiah so quickly, but they're going to stick with the theme of one per episode. So, yeah, I think there's twelve, maybe like it could go to ten. I, I don't know. It's either ten or twelve, maybe eleven. I, we will see. Um, we will see what happens with uh, Williams' food cache, how it's going to uh, impact him, and where the other guys are. If Timber is dealing, you know, like maybe his thumb gets affected. Like everyone's kind of got something that could like make them tap out so yeah i'll be back uh next week for episode eight and um we will have bachelor tomorrow probably two out to uh, not two out to handle <laughs> no um nine day fiance the other way so those two are the, probably um, the next video so look out for those um and then we'll have some more stuff at the end of the week uh two love is blinds and claim to fame i think that's it I think that's it. I'll have to check on the what shows are coming out. But if you have any show suggestions, let us know. Maybe we'll check it out and give it a shot. Maybe do a video. So I appreciate you guys all for watching. Have an awesome rest of your weekend. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See you.